So the video is pretty self-explanatory. I may like over exaggerate um, the point of this video being the doors in the character get to the cargo uh, modules and just it's a general topic um, and I hope you can leave me some comments, leave me some feedback and let me know what you think and uh, yeah let's go into it. So with that being said we have a major issue with the Carrick and you all know how much I love the Carrick and how much I envy that ship and how much I enjoy just flying it about in the verse but it has a serious issue and hopefully I'm hoping that you know this will become some sort of priority very time in the future it might not be as we know that modularity hasn't been really worked on actively as of yet but they do have the ability and capability of having this um, developed and put into the game since they did quote nothing is holding them back from putting this into the game so my issue is that the Carrick is going to be a very difficult cargo hauler and unless you can buy that cargo and get it put straight into the ship as we know that you can it's going to be a very difficult ship to take with you to go on expeditions with the vulture and the reclaimer if you want to take a cargo hauler with you you'll probably need something like the c2 the m2 uh if the starfarer maybe even uh the caterpillar uh, when the whole seed comes out uh the, the freelancer series the cutlass the cutter the mercury star runner and the 600i all for one reason as you know a lot of these ships have large openings the A2 and the C2, the M2 having a rear and a front sort of loading ramp where you can still put cargo through and being able to fit the crates out of a vulture with salvageable or salvaged material in it. The issue with the Carrick is that it has a single door, a very small door, leading into the cargo modules. We know this ship is supposed to be modular. And I'm pretty sure those cargo modules are supposed to drop down so you can load them with cargo. How are you supposed to get one of those large vulture crates into the Carrick? And again, this might not be an issue for everyone, but this may make you think about having one. And I've definitely questioned my ownership of one, but I know I'm not going to get rid of it because I do like and enjoy the ship. But it, it, it poses a potential issue with the modules on this and the cargo factor well the cargo refactor and being able to actually load cargo physically into a ship now you may be able to get small crates through the doorway leading into the cargo modules but where are you supposed to go from there because you have multiple ways of getting into that area but it's all leaded through a single small door and i think it can cause a potential issue if you wanted to take it out to go with a vulture and keep loading cargo where you're probably better off even having a 600i or a hercules go with you to do it because it has the large openings and it's easier to load the cargo in there you're not going to go with the potential issue of trying to jam it through a door and blow your ship up and this is something that really sort of brought to the table of i've been thinking about this for the last week or so and i've been wanting to discuss this i've just been too tired i've just been you know not really bothered but going over this now, I see the need that we need modularity. We need the Carrick modules to do something. We need them to be um, so that we can actually get into these modules and have them drop out of the ship so that then we can then load them successfully and not have any sort of issues of um, getting access to these. And like I said, you know, it could be a simple, well, it could be a simple way of, they're, they're already working on the, um, blast canopy like the protection canopy around the bridge so why not start working on the modularity for this ship if you know this could be an issue this might not be an issue again but I feel like this can be rectified with a simple modularity or being able to drop those modules down out of the ship and then being able to load them up or even putting a front door on them so you can load them up and then lift them back up into the ship that's not in the game I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not in the game yet I go in that carrick on a very regular basis and now that I think about it, this could be potentially an issue. Let me know what you all think about this down in the comments. It might not be an issue for you, but I feel like this is definitely a topic to be touched on. And so for the people who don't have a whole C and all these other ships who may only have a Carrick, well, you might not even have a Carrick, this will pose a potential issue for you when you want to go do cargo hauling 
without having to have a Hulk C and wanting to land planet side if you don't have a Hercules either. If you have a Banu Merchman, chances are you got a Hercules, so you don't need to worry. But <laughs> it just brings to the table that everyone's calling for the, all these other ships to get um, reworked, like the 890, um, other ships as well. What about the Carrick? <laughs> the Carrick needs those modules to do something and to be able to actually drop out and be able to get loaded with cargo where some of these other ships, yep, they're, they're quite important, but I feel like this would be more of a concerning issue for the community to be able to hand load cargo into a ship without it being blown up and having to die because of simple clipping issues of being able to get it into a ship. I mean, you might not even be getting that much cargo, but you'd also be better off having a Mercury Star Runner. Now, Yes, the Mercury Star Runner is not as big, but that oh, that big, beautiful girl. You know, I love that ship. And the 600i. You can fit these crates onto these ships and not one of the major cargo haulers exploration ships that we have. And, you know, it may be this way because they don't want you to use the Carrick for this, but I definitely feel that it could have a market of its own for this ship and having all of these uh, benefits going into it. So... You know, again, might not be a massive issue, but it would definitely be a good way to get them to start thinking about working on modularity as a dedicated um, game feature, being that, you know, we can use it in 4.0 and other updates, and that we can use it on the Carrick and having actual modules on this ship so that we can swap them out and do as we wish with them. Again, like I said, and I can't, I can't help but, you know, tell you this it might not be an issue for everyone but i do feel like this is going to be something that everyone's going to eventually have to think about and possibly even come to the conclusion that they might need to get rid of the carrick out of their fleet if they can't afford it i got two of them at the moment i'm trying to get rid of one because i want to use it as a ccu but again i love the ship it just this poses an issue for some people i would assume let me know down in the comments if you have a carrick if this you know poses an issue for you like i said this might not always cause an issue for you it might actually be the complete opposite because you've already got a ship that can do this and you just use the carrick for other stuff other than what i'm telling you about right now so hope you enjoyed hope it sort of opened your eyes a little bit it opened my eyes definitely when i was like thinking about it. I was like what why why am i so blind to this but again it's just an issue hope you enjoyed let me know down in the comments what you think